Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and this is your host Rhea. Today we are going to learn about the life cycle of a flower plant. But before that, if you have not subscribed yet, then please 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 subscribe to my channel now for getting notifications of all my upcoming videos. Let's start the video without wasting any time. In this video, I will show you 7 different stages in the life cycle of a flower plant. But you will notice that I am skipping one stage in between so that there are no repetitions. So you have to be very attentive and you will learn all the 7 stages. In the first stage, we have a seed. Inside this seed, there is a baby plant. If we keep the seed in the soil and water it every day, then what happens is that the seed starts to sprout and it comes out of the soil as a tiny seedling with two leaves. This is the second stage. If we continue watering the seedling, then the third stage is when the seedling grows into a young plant and it also produces its first flower. Now, this is a very important stage because up to now the plant was just growing and developing, but now it has started producing flowers. Now let's skip one stage in between and let's talk about the fifth stage. In this stage, the flower has produced a fruit. For this to happen, one important thing is needed, and that is pollination, which is actually the fourth stage, which we skipped earlier. You know what is pollination? When the pollen from the flower falls on the stigma of the same flower or a different flower, this is pollination. Pollination is usually carried by insects such as butterflies, honeybees, etc. And in this way, the flower is pollinated. After that, the ovary of the flower starts to grow and it becomes a fruit. Now let's go to the sixth stage. The fruit is now fully developed and it is ready to be picked. Inside the fruit, there are seeds. These seeds can either be eaten by an animal or they can be carried by the wind or by water to a new place. In the final and the seventh stage is when these seeds are carried by animals or by wind or by water to a new place. They will start to grow into new plants. And in this way, the life cycle of a flower plant continues. I hope you liked this video. If you really did, then please hit the like button. Also, please do share this video with your friends and family members for sharing more knowledge to more people. The more likes and subscriptions I get, the more motivation you give me to make more such wonderful videos. This is your host Rhea Anup signing off and thanks a lot for watching. See you all in my next video. Till then, bye bye.